Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVNet's video series on binary and binary search tree interview questions and this is one of the interesting questions. This is about printing a left view of a binary tree or binary search tree. It doesn't matter but it is a binary tree, okay? So left view meaning if this is the tree and you look at this tree from left view. So consider this is the left and this is your right. So if you will see this tree from here, what you can see is this node, this node, this node, this node and this node. You cannot see 6, 4 and 7. So what we want is we want to print 2, 3, 5, 8 and 9. And pause the video, think about it, how you will solve this problem. There can be multiple ways like uh, if you go for level order traversal, then you will say that, okay, whenever I'm starting a new level, so this is one level, this is another level, this is another level and this and this, right? So you can say that whenever I'm going to start a new level, I'll print that first one and then rest I can just skip. So that would also do the job. And another way what I'm trying to tell you is we will maintain a label or a height, you can say, and we are going to use pre-order traversal. So if you know what is pre-order traversal, it's about like printing the node and then going for the left one and then going for the right one. So whenever you visit some node, you will do operations in this order. So the moment you visit, you will print that and then you will go for the left one and then you will go for the right one. And this is true for each and every node. Okay, so that's it. You have to perform pre-order and you have to take the level. Once this level is increasing, at that moment only you have to print that node. And as we are using pre-order traversal, it will always increase on either of these five nodes, meaning this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Because we are considering pre-order traversal. So let me give you an example here. Initially, let's suppose your level is, okay, let me make it more clear. Instead of level, we can have two levels like max. So we will have a max level and we will have a current level. Okay, so we have current level. So we know that, okay, this is, let's suppose one, two, three, and four, and five. It's not necessary to start from one. You can start from zero and then here you can one, two, three, four. The point is maximum level will only increase the moment you will break the boundary. So you know that, okay, how it can go. It can go from here to here, here to here, and then here to here, here to here, right? And then maximum level here by reaching here, we can say that, okay, maximum level is five. And as this is recursive, it will go back, okay? And it will reach here and then it will again try to go here. And that time current level will still be one, but max level will be five. So here, max level is how far you have gone so far. So we will have current level should be greater than max level. If this is the condition, then we'll change this max level and initialize max level with current level. And the moment we are doing this, we will print the value of the node. Okay, so this is the catch. We will go recursively and we'll keep incrementing current value of the level and max value of the level. And the moment we will find that current value has increased the max value, that time only we will print the node. Okay, let's do that. So before that I have to initialize it. We can initialize them with integer min and this can go with let's say one. So remember pre is like first you will process this node and then only you will go for the last left one, right? So first you have to process this. So let's print or process or whatever the operation you want to do. So for us, it is like, we will check if this current level, we'll check this one, okay? So this is the if condition, we'll check that if current level is greater than max level. So our max level is integer min, which is maybe the smallest number integer can hold. And one is greater than that. Yes, it is true. In that case, we'll print two. So let's do that. We have printed two now. And as I said, if that is true, then max level will be initialized with current level, okay? So current uh, max level will be one now. And from here to here, because now we have processed it, we'll go from two to three because of this left operation. So as we are going from here to here, our current level will obviously increase because we will always increment when we'll go, we will be going down the hill, okay? So this current is becoming two now. So again, this condition will come. Yes, two is greater than one, it is true. And 
and as I said, if it is true, we have to print this three also. So we'll print three and max level will become two now. And similarly, after doing this P or processing, we'll go from here to here. And then again, this count value will increase. It will become three and it will equate with true. It will again be true and we'll end up printing five now. So similarly, we'll end up printing two, three, five, eight, and nine. Okay. And after printing nine, we, we would have come from here to here and then from here to here, right? And then we'll go back from here to here, here to here, and then here, and then we will go, try to go to this location, right? Yes, it is true. And by that time, current value would be three. Okay. Because we are coming from two to three. So current level value will be three and our max value would be five because we are not changing max value. We are changing only current value and current value will actually tell you that, okay, at what level you are. So you are at third level, but you have reached till level five so far. So max value is five and current value is three. So this is not going to get true. So we'll go back from here to here. So meaning it is not going to get true and we will not print it. So six is not printed. We'll go back from here to here and then back here. And similarly, we'll go from here to here now and then see again, this condition will be checked, but current level is two now because this is two, right? And max value is still holding five. So two is greater than five. No, it is not. So then in that case, we'll not print this guy also and we'll come here and this is three. So three is greater than five. No, it is not. We'll not print this also. So see, you successfully printed two, three, five, eight, and nine. Let's quickly see the code for this. So this is how your code would look like. We have this helper. So we'll call this helper function with root, which is two. So this is the node we are passing here and max level, max level. We will initialize with some max level is equal to int min. Okay. And then we'll pass this max level here and max. Okay. And then we have current level, current level. You can pass zero, one doesn't matter. So with this, you can actually print two, three, five, eight, and nine. Let's see how we'll do that. So we have two here. We have int min and we have zero here or one here. doesn't matter. So we'll check that. Okay. Is this too empty? No, it is not. We'll go here. If current level is greater than max level. Yes. Zero is actually greater than integer min. So integer meaning min is, as I said, it is the minimum value integer can hold. So it is obviously going to be minus. So minus is less than zero. It is true. So we will end up printing this root value. So which is true. So let's print that. And then max level is equal to current level. So now let's have max and current. So max is now zero. Okay. And then we'll go ahead. We'll call ourselves with roots left, which is three now. Okay. So we are now calling with three max level is zero now. And then see, this is the magic. We have current level plus one. So this time level is becoming one. We'll come inside this root is not empty. It is true. Current level, which is one is greater than zero. Yes, it is true. We'll print this again. So we'll print three now and max level will become one. So let's make that one now. And current was one and we'll call ourselves again with five this time. So let's call with five and max value is going to be one and current is going to be two because we are incrementing current value. Okay. So we'll come inside this again and this root is still not empty. We'll print that. So we'll print five as we have printed five this time. We'll try to send fives left, which is actually null pointer here. So we'll send null. So instead of five, we are getting null pointer here and we'll check if, if this is null pointer. Yes, it is null pointer. Then we'll just return from here. So we will come back to this line and then we will start executing this one. So this one is like roots, right? So this time roots, right is eight because that time root was five. So you was trying to go to left, but you could not go. So you went back with this return, right? Now you're standing here itself. And then you're saying that, okay, I'm going to write of this one. So right of this is eight. So we will now this call with this eight. And before that, this max value is actually two now because the moment you printed five, it became two due to this line here. And now we are sending eight, meaning this guy, but see current level is going to get one, which is three because two plus one will be three. And here level is two, right? Because here we pushed level zero here. We pushed level one here. It is going to be two now. So two plus one is three. So we are going to get three here, meaning current is getting three now. We'll come inside this. This is not going to get true. We'll come into this if and current value is three greater than 
2, it is true, we will print this 8 also. And then max value will become 3. See? And after that we will try to print this help with left, roots left. So root is currently 8 and 9 is the left. So we will pass this time 9. So we have passed 9 and max value is 3 as it is. But current value will become 3 plus 1, 4. So this is going to be 4. So 9, 3 and 4. See? This is not going to get true. We will come here. Current value which is 4 is greater than max value which is 3. Yes, it is true. We will print 9 also. See, we are printing this 9. And max value is going to become current value which is 4. So now we have 4 here. So this is 4. Okay. And this is third level. So now important point is your max is pointing 4. Now as you are going back from here to here, your current value will decrease because that time current was 3 okay and you are going again back from here to here because you, you don't have anything in the right so and yeah after reaching 9 here you would try to go here but you cannot go because uh, this condition will return you back and due to this will also go back because this condition will not hold true for this line also so then you will end up going from here to here it will try to go here but it can't go because we have null here and it will check if it is null so we'll go back from here to here now, see, important point is max level is still 4. See, this is integer reference. So, if we are changing max level, it will retain its value all the time throughout all the stack because we are actually changing only one variable throughout all the call stack. But here, as this is not a reference variable, it is getting created every time when you go for new stack. So, when you are going back, you are actually pointing to the previous current level variable which was stored in that stack. Okay. So similarly, we'll reach here, we'll go back here and then we'll try to go to this location and see this is very important. You will try to go to this location with the help of this line only. Okay. So see you are sending 6, your max value is 4 because it is not going to change. Your current value is, current value is 1 plus 1, 2. So you will send this data it will come here root is not null it is true so current value is greater than max value no because current is 2 and max value is 4 now meaning it will not print and similarly you will go back here and then come here similarly your max is always going to point at 4 and your current is always lesser than 4 right so here it will be 1 here it will be 2 so it will never print 4 and 7 and that's how this four line of code will end up doing your job so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care and the next video is how to print right view so let's look at the next question